This design, where the base units are decimal feet, and it's from the US, calls for a path going from an entry to a dwelling, sweeping around here, and to a driveway. Although you could make a closed polyline around that shape and hatch the whole path, we think it's not a bad idea to be restrained in hatching and just put small amounts of hatching to indicate the path. Otherwise, the drawing gets a little large and a little unwieldy. Let's go back to the model and do it for this entrance part. I'm on a layer called Edging, and I'll start the polyline command and just draw. I've got O-snap turned off, so I can simply just quickly draw a polyline somewhat inside the boundary. No point in overlapping it, just like so, and then come back along here like so, and then close that polyline. Now hatch that polyline, pick the polyline, and right click. You can see that we've loaded a hatch pattern that's supplied with GK Plus called ACAD.PAT. That's the Imperial hatch pattern. There's also an ISO hatch pattern and some other hatch patterns that are used for special stone work and stone hatching. But this is just AR Conk, a random dot and stone pattern. I've set the scale at 0.2 and I'll OK it. You can always change the scale at any time, so it's hatched that area. What I'll then do is just erase the bounding polyline. And if we go back here now, I think that indicates quite nicely that we have a path. We could go to the layer stack and change the color of that layer to a, a sort of stone path crushed aggregate sort of color. And now when we zoom in, you can see the blobs that represent the paving or path that's going through there. So I hope that helps in hatching, using hatching generally. This is a driveway through here, so if it was brick paved, you could put a small patch of brick paving in there to indicate that paving. So being restrained in the use of hatching. A related way to hatch an area, of course, is to draw a polyline, as I've done here. Imagine that we wanted to indicate some mulching through this area. I've drawn a polyline just inside the boundary of that, and I could come over into the properties box and just say that that's a, a filled polyline, so it's just one entity. There's no, no hatching there. This will load and display very quickly. When I right-click and unselect all, you can see the solid hatching. You can pick the hatching and throw that hatch, hatching underneath all the symbols in there via Tools, Draw, Order, and we'll send it to the back. So now we can see the symbols on top. But when we go into the layout here, you might argue that that's too bold and too dominant. What you can do in GK Plus is pick any entity, in fact, and change its transparency. So you might want to knock this down to so let's try a transparency of 100 to start with and uh, we'll unselect all and go back in here and there's our mulching showing. I'd probably be inclined to lower the transparency. So we could have used a different colour and indicated our path hatching. It's, it really deter it's determined by the look and the feel you want to convey in the design. So let's go back here and change the transparency of this to 50 and then back into the layout view and we've certainly got a more subtle indicator that there is some mulching over that area and when we put it over here and match it through that zone there um, I think the design will look reasonable. A word of warning, modern PDF writers can't print drawings that have got transparency attached to entities. In, in, to print this drawing, once transparency is put in there, you need to go file and use our inbuilt savers PDF tool. 
what that does is turn the output into an image file and you print that image file or the image file is converted to PDF and then you print. It's just something to be aware of when you use transparency. There's also on the view an option to take transparent render off. And now you can see that there's some transparency being associated to that symbol and to this ground cover. I'd be inclined to redo that symbol and take transparency off, I think. So let's turn transparency on. Transparent render is now on. And I'll come back in here, take unselect all, come across over here, select that symbol, jump in, edit the block. There must be some transparency here somewhere. That one is filled. Transparency has been set to 50. I think I'd be inclined to erase it and then close the block editor. And for mine, that symbol now works well enough without any 